we already saw joints in hive we need to be careful here hive ca cannot do everything that is possible in sql sql is much more matured tool um, and language basically hive is just a alternative to avoid the map reduce uh, programming so basically we have taken some standard queries uh, then if we give those standard queries hive will automatically convert them into map reduce for example within joins not every join is possible only equality joins where the key will be a dot key equal to b dot key so those are called equality joins only those are possible Hadoop, hive doesn't support a dot key less than b dot key type of joins as of now why these kind of non equality joins are very difficult to convert into map and reduce and then finally give us the result so they are not as easy as they look if you want to achieve something like that you might have to write your own map and reduce code as we discussed earlier hive is not exactly the complete replacement of or uh, substitute to rdbms within big data so rdbms has some fundamental differences when we compare that with uh, hive so rdbms is schema on load uh, basically before loading the table or before loading the data itself the schema has to be perfect and table has to comply with the schema that means if the table has any uh, different format that is other than that mentioned in the schema table won't itself uh, will be created whereas hive is schema on read that means hive will verify the data only when you are using it otherwise it will create the table or it will just keep the data inside it if you don't understand it simple you don't need to worry about this these are just some of the differences between rdbms and hive but anyway hive is not a big competitor of rdbms hive is there for a different reason record level updates are possible in rdbms you can do record level updates uh, whenever you want you can delete them you can do one by one records whereas in hive record level updates are not possible why single record level updates are not possible in hive why because hive runs on top of hadoop hive data sets are on hdfs the data sets are are too big and they are converted or they are divided into smaller chunks of the data if the data is divided into smaller chunks if you want to update one single record where do you upload where do you update in which chunk and each chunk is replicated so it's going to be a heavy uh, it's it's not going to be really uh, possible in hive if to if you want to do record level updates and deletions so hive doesn't support record level updates so rdbms is it cannot uh, you know it's not for petabytes of data or really big data hive can handle petabytes of data scaling up is very easy in hive rdbms uh, within rdbms you can read the table write the table multiple number of times you can work seamlessly if you have smaller data set if you have 20 or 30 tables you can always read and write tables you can do record level updates whereas hive you write only once you put the data on hdfs only once you can read many times you can use it for analysis later on but while you are putting the data while you are loading the data onto hadoop because hive itself doesn't have any database hive relies on hdfs right so you write data once that means you load the data once rdbms supports online transaction and online analytics that means you can do record i mean you can store the data also uh, and you can do record level updates you can use it as online transaction processing and online analytical processing you can run some queries on top of it whereas hive doesn't support transaction processing once the data is there it is there you you can't keep on changing it or updating it so hive doesn't support transactional processing but however you can support hive can support analytical processing that means you can write sql queries you can get some results you can create some summaries out of the tables but updating the tables every now and then or regularly in a transactional database like is not possible so rdbms is very dynamic you can do a lot of transactional related or analytical processing and it is best suited for dynamic analysis on smaller data sets 
and for faster processing and response whereas hive best for large data sets and static analysis that means you keep the data once and slowly do the analysis you don't want to do you don't want to quickly get a result and then based on that you change the tables then quickly generate one more result hive is not for that you have the data then you have set of uh, analytical uh, requirements based on that you get the results it is not for swift response hive is for uh, static analysis and it hive will take its own time to give you the result because after all it's working on big data so further reading hive itself has grown up so much because hive solves a lot of issues and hive can be a good solution for most of the analytical uh, or reporting uh, requirements that's why hive is developed as one of the uh, independent tool within uh, HDFS or Hadoop ecosystem Hive has so many other uh, further uh, components or topics that you can do uh, you can read upon altering the tables table partitioning Hive views Hive index X uh, and Hive thrift server so you can if once you understand all these commands it's almost same as SQL so you can explore all that you need to know is where to put the commands and then how to get the uh, results how to read the results or how to take them into a new file so if you are really interested you can do further reading on these topics within Hive I think there is one more version of Hive I think there is something called Impala which is almost similar to Hive Impala is also another tool which sits on top of Hadoop it converts SQL queries into MapReduce codes so in conclusion we discussed only basics of Hive here we just gave an introduction to Hive we saw what is the need of Hive because MapReduce is not easy Hive makes MapReduce easy to some extent whatever is SQL query you can convert that into MapReduce most of the SQL queries we learned some of the useful tools uh, useful queries within hive and let me tell you hive is one of the most widely used tool right now because people a lot of people know sql and you somehow you want to interact with big data it's better to start with hive because you have sql uh, technique and you can just use hive that will take care of the map reduce so we just got an introduction to hive and if you are really interested you you can get into advanced topics within high high efficiency indexing partitioning etc altering the tables etc so in the later sessions we are going to see some of the other tools within hadoop ecosystem